It is well known that the motion of human fingers is controlled by synergy, which is the idea that groups of muscles are activated together by a single control signal. This coherent activation is much more efficient than controlling redundant muscles individually. Through sequencing and superposition of only a few synergies, we can achieve a variation of complex motions that we perform on a daily basis. We want to extend the synergy-based control to wearable robotic limbs. Every day we use uh, various tools, say we use uh, an iPhone forks and then we drive a car. And uh, if you use these tools for a long time, you feel that those tools are just extension of your body. So that's exactly what, what we would like to do with the robotics. You have extra fingers and extra arms, uh, you know, if we can control and communicate them very well, you get to uh, feel that those are just extension of your body. These are the SR fingers, which are robotic fingers that mount to your wrist. It has six degrees of freedom, three degrees of freedom in each finger. The fingers are quite long, so the user can grab things that are usually much larger or much heavier than they can do with a single hand. We take input from a sensor glove, which you see over here, and we have these uh, bending sensors that can measure the position of the human fingers. And through an algorithm, we can control the output, which are the positions of the SR fingers, with the position of the human fingers. So the motion can be very natural and implicit. With the assistance of the SR fingers, the user can grasp objects that are usually too difficult for them to do with a single hand. For example, objects that are too large, too heavy, or the surface of the objects are too hot or too cold. You can also perform tasks that usually require two hands with a single hand, for example, taking the cap of a bottle or opening a letter. For elderly or people with disability, these fingers can help them to enjoy a living much more independently. I think that you know all the technologies and tools and developed for the handicapped, you know, turns out to be a useful things for other healthy people. On this particular hands and or fingers, you know, we can find many other ways of using it, and we're still exploring what the kind of you know tasks will be useful for the people.